So fishy folks, where do you buy fish tank cleaning supplies? All right, fishy folks. Well, I went into AutoZone to buy what I have in this bag, and I didn't really like the selection they had. Uh, so I went to Harbor Freight instead, except I didn't get a fancy opening of Harbor Freight. So what did I buy at Harbor Freight to clean my fish tanks? I bought a scraper set. So we have one long handle scraper, two short handle scrapers, and another short handle scraper the whole set was like eight bucks there's a 20% off coupon which makes it less than eight bucks if I could do math in my head I would tell you what that was it's a dollar sixty off so 640 plus tax call it seven bucks whatever this is how I'm gonna clean algae in some tanks and I'm gonna show you that in a minute okay fishy folks the first thing I want to tell you is this thing is a complete piece of crap don't let anything else fool you. I don't know if you can tell, but it's bent already. I just took it out of the package and it came out bent. Uh, yeah, maybe that's a good way to show you. See that, and then, oh, look at that. Yeah, bent. But we're gonna give it a, the old college try anyway. So let me set up the camera, figure out what tank I'm gonna clean. Probably the Japanese blue guppy tank. And I'll be back in a moment. All right, fishy folks, I'm always telling you how gorgeous these Japanese blue guppies look like. Look, and uh, you can see all this algae here on the inside of the glass. You really can't see them. It's cloudy. It's Yeah, so I'm going to clean the glass. I'm going to show you what it looks like now. I'm going to show you me cleaning it. I'm going to film me cleaning it. Blah, 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 blah. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, fishy folks. I'm gonna clean it. I'm standing on my tippy toes. I have my tripod on my workbench to get the top tank video for you. Stand by. That's right, I'm a short guy and I can't reach it and pff, why did what I think about that ahead of time? Time to get the step stool. Shall we try it again? That looks so much better. I'm sure you can see the difference from way across the room. I'm gonna get a close up in a minute. I'm gonna let the water settle for a minute or so, cause you know, all that movement made some debris float up, some detritus, and then you'll see how fantastic these Japanese blue guppies look so why don't you just uh go grab it your i didn't just trip i swear wow that's look let's see if i can do this without losing my oh wow technology all right folks I'll be right back all right fishy folks pardon the glare but now you can see how clear the tank is i don't really care about the size i don't really care about algae to be honest with you um it's just part of the ecosystem and the fish you know kind of the the fry can can nosh on it you know have a snack if they need to um if there's no food for them so i don't really care about it but i do want to show these fish because they are spectacular um i do have some with lower swords like that guy and there are a couple with upper swords as well so a double sword tail like that one um but they look great i love their dorsal fin I love everything about them. If you're interested in them, certainly email me at michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. Um, I have sold a ton of fish this past week. I have six orders going out, which is the most I've ever had. They're also all big orders. Um, unfortunately, I got called on a business trip, so instead of shipping Monday morning, I'll be shipping Wednesday morning. A couple orders I held until the following week. Um, people didn't want them to show up possibly on Saturday so but <clears throat> that part of my business is good um, so that's that so there there is what the tank looks like um, you can see what it looked like before here's some algae still just a couple of warnings when you use a scraper razor blade don't get too close to these silicone seals inside 
you could cut them and, and potentially cause a leak or even uh, reduce the structural integrity of the tank and that could cause a blowout or a leak. We don't want any of that. Um, so just be careful. Uh, all right. All right, fishy folks, we're back. The Japanese blues are eating some beef heart flake from Fish Freaks Plus. I can't talk highly enough about this food. Um, everybody loves it. Everybody's growing well. Lots of babies in the fish room and every every tank pretty much I'm getting spawns And it's I've decided that's all I'm gonna feed like <clears throat> I did feed some live black worms a couple days ago, but Like I haven't fed fed frozen food in quite a long time I've been just doing uh, fish freaks plus either the beef heart flake the angel flake <coughs> the guppy flake or the uh, Black worm flake I mean, look at it. I just crushed it up. Everybody in the tank is eating. Fry are eating. Juveniles are eating. Adults are eating. And they look great. So, Fish Freaks Plus. Check it out. Uh, use promo code MFR for 10% off your entire purchase. Next door, we have the blue diamond tank. We've showed that before with some of these new cool red guys. <coughs> Looks like Fry was just dropped, but... I gotta clean these tanks, so I'll be back. Check this tank out, guys. This is the Sunset Guppy tank. Um, it's my oldest colony of fish. It's been in many, many different tanks, but you can see all the green algae on the glass. I'm gonna clean it up right now, and I'll show you the aftermath. Okay, fishy folks, I just kinda wanted to show you the difference. There is through the algae, there is a clean tank. Obviously, everything is floating around in the tank from me. You know, using the scraper, simply by doing this, if you can see it, that would be nice. Yeah, I'm doing it one-handed, and yeah. Anywho, I just want to show you what that looked like. I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, we did a little bit of maintenance up top. Clean, excuse me, clean some filters, clean some glass. Everything's looking perfect again. When I say perfect, I mean it's a fish room. It's perfect for a fish room. These are tanks I just finished. Glass is still a little bit wet. Let's uh, let's wipe down the glass. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I wish I had one of those fancy towels that all you guys have in your fish rooms, but I don't have one. I have to use an old bath towel. <clears throat> Anywho, there we are. Dial here. So here's what it looks like when you miss some, but I don't want to get too close to the, the edge. Next time I'll probably get closer. I'll maybe take my time a little bit. We clean this filter a little bit. Uh, this filter we cleaned a little bit too. That's a China filter. Um, yeah, so that's what's go. What the heck? Stay up there. Stay. 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 Oh, messy whatever um so i cracked this tank the other day you can see the can you see the crack in the back that's uh, cracked trust me um this tank needs to get cleaned out i think that's where the angels are gonna go the angel babies let's take a look at the angel babies just fed them some crushed up beef heart flake you can see them all floating around there looking cute and everything I don't know how many are in there, maybe a hundred now, 50, I don't know. It's hard to see them, it's hard to count them. Some of them still are hanging at the bottom. So that's that. All right, folks, I think that's it for a uh, Sunday fun day video. Um, next week, I think I'm gonna do a video on the outdoor ponds and perhaps an unboxing um what am i talking about while we let the dust settle maybe we should feed some fish well, that's stupid why would we do 